Hello, fabulous Cancer. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of March 2014, Love Focus. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. Well, last month I told you that a lot of things were going to start coming together for you, that a lot of the lessons you've been going through since the fall of 2013 would now start to make a lot more sense, and February would be the month when key decisions would be made. A lot of things that seem to have half starts are we're going to find their resolution. But more than that, the larger lessons of your love life were really going to come together. And now this month really is a new day in love. You've done the work. Trust that. And I think that every Cancerian, regardless of your love status, have really asked yourself some key questions as to where you are in love, if you like it or not, and what needs to change to move yourself in a more positive direction. Those of you who were attached did a lot of work. Those of you who had somebody there in your sphere decided to take things to another level or were honest with yourself about what wasn't working and changed course. And those of you who were single really decided what it was within you, understood what it was within you that you really needed in love, what maybe was holding you back from having that love, but also making some very brave choices in terms of preparing yourself for the love that you really want and that you really deserve. And so now we get to this month, and this month is very much about a new day, a new cycle, new energy as well. And it's about you being open to a deeper love, a more significant love, slowly but surely. What I really like about this month for you is that you've got this very clear grasp, especially once we get you towards the end of the month. So the more you progress, the more clear this is going to be, but especially at the end of the month, it looks like you have a very clear grasp of just what it is ultimately you're hoping to manifest. And this whole idea of you wanting to be with someone who represents the ultimate direction of your life. And at the same time, there is an element here this month that has to do with intensity and honesty. You want someone who can really, really touch you to the core, someone who can really affect you very deeply, someone you can be deeply vulnerable with and deeply honest with, someone you can trust deeply. With these two energies, these two influences, not influences because the planets have no influence over us, they're merely a mirror allowing us another perspective to look at our lives. But with these symbols playing out in the sky, it does indicate that you are now ready for something much more honest than you were before. The work that's been done has been done and is now behind you. You are better for it. So those of you who are attached, I do think you're going to find yourself moving into an even deeper commitment than you've known before with your current partner. There is a deeper element here of sharing, and I am seeing at least one moment, which for some of you will be more comfortable than for others of you, but there is one moment when I'm seeing you kind of say, okay, this is what I'm willing to share. This is what I'm not willing to share. Let's figure this out on a practical level. How are we going to actually merge our lives more deeply? And how is it that maybe we need to practice a little bit more independence? And so regardless of how that lesson, that moment sort of comes up for you, the two of you are going to find a resolution that is very sweet and does bring you to much more closer, allowing you to see how this person actually fits into the larger vision of your life. And this person can actually walk with you for the long haul. Those of you who have somebody in your sphere, I do think that this month is one of those sort of make or break months. This is, can I really trust you? Is, is this somebody that you really feel like you could expose things that you don't readily share with others, but also you are making decisions as to what is it that you really want to share, what matters in sharing, but also what you really don't, what's it, what is okay for you to keep personal and keep a little close to the heart for you to decide, maybe share a little bit later, but just be cautious of that and your intentions with sharing. Okay. Because I am seeing that for some of you, you may talk yourself out of sharing something that actually needs to be said, something that has to do with your own life personally, maybe an element of your past that you're still carrying. I think that you are going to find that the reception you receive for actually sharing some personal things is a lot better than you realize. However, you want to wait until we get you to the end of the month to get there. Okay. So before you really start spilling your guts, make sure you're not spilling too much, especially early in the month. 
And then once we get you towards the end of the month, a lot more things are going to just sort of organically come forward and you're going to find yourself sharing and desiring a deeper intimacy with this person and feeling yourself changed for the better as a result of your interactions with this person. But the interesting thing about that is because this is an element of honesty, again, this could be a sort of make or break time as well for a lot of Cancerians out there where it comes to love. For those of you who sort of just have somebody in your sphere, because you're looking at, can I really trust this person? And how deeply can I really trust this person? Because that is one of the strongest questions that's with you right now, where it comes to love. I do think that the likelihood of you actually saying yes and moving towards this person is very strong. But a few Cancerians out there are going to say, you know what, not really, I'm ready to go another road. And ultimately, that road is about moving towards greater intimacy. It is about understanding that you do want someone you can feel really close to. And whatever happens in this immediate situation, there's a part of you that knows that you are moving in that direction. And for those of you who are open to love, who haven't met anyone just yet, but are open to the adventure, I do think that very light sort of um, frivolous or you know very light introductions, flirtations are going to actually mean very little to you right now. I think if anything, you are going to be one who is wanting the honest experience, the honest exchange. And if it can't be really honest and really open, it's not going to interest you very much. However, having said that, I do think that you've got a right perspective on the big picture enough to honestly evaluate the people who do show up. And so it isn't so much, again, about the fun that you can have in the moment, but I think a part of you is thinking about where can this actually go and being honest with yourself about what it is that you're actually seeing. You know, I'm very fond of saying in these videos, I love this quote by Maya Angelou that says, when people show you who they are, believe them. And I think you're much more likely to believe them. You're much more likely to acknowledge who a person is and who it is that they're showing themselves to be much more sooner in the game than you would otherwise. And that is really an element of experience. That is really you demonstrating that you're a lot more clearer than you know than you were before about just what it is that you're going for in love. Regardless, you're moving in a direction of greater honesty and greater intimacy. And that makes love that much more meaningful and that much more real. Thank you for watching. It'll be a great month. Be fabulous and enjoy.